the opening song by the men's choir at St. Joseph's Catholic Ukrainian Church begins the prayer for peace. On March 17th, representatives from various religious backgrounds came together to offer their own words of prayer for the people of Ukraine. The event was organized in partnership with the Interfaith Council of Halton. Council Chair Jillian Federico says the Interfaith Prayer for Peace is one of many events the council has done when there is a need for the community to come together in solidarity. We did that when there were um, concerns about the safety of the Muslim community. We've done that in support of the violence that has gone on in many parts of the world towards members of the Jewish community or the Asian community. And so for us, it is vital that we show that as a community, we are standing together for the positive values that we believe in. I believe that all of us in the world share two languages in common, regardless of our actual spoken language and our faith tradition. We speak the language of music, and the music certainly was, was for the angels. But we also speak the language of peace. And that language of peace was certainly present as representatives from the many religious communities stood at the podium to offer prayer from their own faiths. The turnout was beyond what St. Joseph's father, Michael Loza, expected. You know, when you organize a community event, you're not sure what to expect. I personally didn't know many of the people that attended. I met them for the first time. But what was obvious was you realize people are coming together that have the same heart. And it's a heart for peace, a heart for friendship, a heart for the good of humanity. Um, in whatever language uh, you speak of God. With an almost packed church, local political leaders attended as well, including Oakville MPP Effie Triantafilopoulos and Mayor Rob Burton. Father Loza says seeing support from residents, religious and political leaders, even in prayer, can be a powerful source for hope. And as I mentioned uh, uh, as well, that, that symbol of, of Ukraine, the flower, the sunflower, is a, is a spiritual reminder for us that we're called to uh, seek the source of life and light in the sky, in the heavens, and to follow it, just like a sunflower follows after God's presence. For Halton News in Oakville, I'm Melissa Candelaria. Are you